All right, continuing our crusade of medieval. Let's see. I think this is a uh, solar. Yeah, solar solstice. You may have noticed that in the sacred path, things were ramping up quite a bit. Well, they're going to ramp up even more so here. Starting with the Bright Pass. Oh, the sun's way over there. It hasn't come up yet. Now, this place basically throws new enemies at us that are buffed versions of some of the enemies we fought in the moon area. One of which is right up there, if memory serves. Yep. And that, yeah, you saw that. That guy had a shield. And that shield will, in fact, reflect anything I shoot at it. Just like the shields in Hexen. But it only seems to reflect stuff if it actually hits the shield. Which is good. But it also means they can reflect Whisper's Edge pretty easily. <laughs> Ow. I forgot, what was this big... Oh, the big guys, they're called Professors, right. Yeah. So you've got, um... Oh, you've also got these guys. Which are a lot like those green melee dudes we fought in the moon area, except they dash, and if you're caught in their path while they're dashing, they will do a crap load of damage to you, so don't... So don't get in their path while they're dashing. Yep. Not sure what makes those guys stronger than their uh, Lunar Angel versions. I know what makes this guy stronger, though. Are you gonna, are you gonna do it? Yep. That attack is basically ripped straight from Heretic's Molitor. Except, well, with a few traces of fine tuning here and there. Bye. No. It looks like those guys' shields can also block my axe, but it makes them flinch. Ooh, Voltride. This can be an effective way of dealing with those, uh, shielded guys by circumnavigating the shield, because the chain lightning effect, I'm pretty sure, ignores shields. Nope. Oh, come on. Whoa. It seems like they also fine-tune the way those, um, dashing fellas work. Hey! Also, those spears, as you can see, they set whatever they hit on fire. If you touch anything that's on fire, including you, if you take a direct hit from the spheres, then, then you will constantly take damage. The sun brings warmth and a good life to those who would worship. Two suns to reach gold. Okay. Nope. 
Hey, that attack wasn't anywhere near as lethal as I thought it was going to be. Bang, gotcha. You gotta be careful using the Voltri to get those shielded guys directly, though, because... If they manage to reflect it, that will result in pretty much unavoidable damage. You know, it's actually kind of fitting to find a Celestial Claw out here in the place of the Sun Worshippers. Considering that when powered up, this thing fires suns. <laughs> but of course it doesn't need to sometimes. Here. Yeah, because the Celestial Claw only fires planets or stars. It never fires moons. Ow. Go for the face! There nope. we go. Okay. I think that's the other switch I need to hit in order to get the gold key. Hmm? And as you can see, when powered up, there there are a lot of uh, weapons that the uh, um, solar the solar she siege guys cannot uh, reflect when powered up. They also cannot reflect the Aeternum. At least I don't think they can. Worshippers must be silenced. Their heresy knows no bounds. Our time is at hand. Hmm. Oh, speaking of which, information on the uh, sun worshippers. Servants of the sun. The servants of the sun live on opposite side on the opposite side of the planet as the astro acolytes. They are a very similar society, yet they hate the worshippers of the moon. A solar saint is their leader. Are you like fire? How do you like that fire? There is darkness on the horizon. I have kept the key here for safekeeping. Guard it well, brothers. Yeah, they clearly didn't guard it that well. If those were the brothers that were supposed to guard it. You know, I'm... Oh, I missed that. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking that... Because they hate the moon worshippers so much, whatever this evil force was, was able to use that to its advantage. Somehow. Mm, Star of Torment's another good way to counter shield guys, because they cannot reflect it. Let's see. Oh, I need to go that way. Right. Whoops. Wait a sec. This is the wrong way. Yeah, they can... They can... Or unless they changed it. Because the game has undergone some changes. Like, I remember these, uh, these dashing guys being a lot more damaging before. Um... But unless they change it, they cannot reflect this thing. They can block part of the damage, but they cannot reflect it. Whoa, shoot. Ah. Yeah, see?
The Star of Torment apparently hits with such force that it cannot be reflected. The night brings sadness. Yeah, it's never something that's explored, but it is an interesting theory. And I, and I doubt it's what the developers had in mind, which makes it a bit sad. Ow. That was, that was a close one. <laughs> Yeah, somehow they're so hardy, they're able to withstand a giant crystal shard impaling them through the face. on fire all the time. Also, whatever happened to potions? Whatever happened to potions? Why wouldn't they let you heal via use of potions? Why does it have to be those weird blood orb things? I don't fully understand. Oh, okay. Easy way back up. Visible. <laughs> hey, turn him. There we go. Oh, and there's a soul butcher. Yeah, not that dangerous. I actually find them to be less dangerous than the other guys, although I assume if they hit you, you may end up changing your mind. So I'm not gonna let them hit me. We have studied the light. A revelation is at hand. Yeah, again, why didn't they say that whatever this evil was, it somehow taken advantage of the, uh, Sun worshippers' zeal and hatred for their intolerance for the moon worshippers. Why didn't they delve into that? That would have been some pretty good uh, storyline stuff. And they never delved into it. Or at least, I'm not aware that they ever did. It was just the same sort of corruption that affected, well, just about everything else. The sun gives us sight for which to fight. Bring on the night. Ah! Boom! I don't think this is supposed to happen. Cleave, boys. Bang. And then get zapped. And then be cleave some more for your insolence. Oh, right. Don't run into the torches, too, because that also damages you.
Wow. Yeah, outside of evil difficulty, the monster or the enemies are a lot more fragile in this. I don't know if these qualify as monsters. Because they're they're mostly just corrupted people. It's it's honestly hard to tell. My eyes stained by dark visions. I shall seek guidance at the tower. Anon. Hey, didn't that guy also visit the sacred path? There's our exit. 